Me hente, in this life, everything is consistency, right? We can't go out in life expecting to achieve stuff, anything in this world without being consistent, right? I have had a lot of people out there that say that they've been practicing Spanish, you know, they are so focused on Spanish and after that, you know, then just drop it. They don't want to see me push the button when I'm spinning. They don't want to see me living while they so offended. I don't understand it. They don't want to see me spinning. They don't want to see me written out the pen. ¿Qué tal mi gente? Welcome to another episode. This is your favorite course boy, Nika Flow 505. And if this is your first time on my channel, I would love to invite you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can stay updated with all the latest of video. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a few tips that you can use so you can better your Spanish and, you know, be bilingual just like me and other Latinos out there. If you haven't watched the, the new release video that I uploaded, you can check it out by just clicking this card that I'm going to leave above here. And what this is going to do basically, mi gente, is just help you, right, and how you can use this application to better your Spanish and also be able to communicate effectively with other people that you're going to be practicing your Spanish with. So, let me just bring these tips them for you. You don't know, Seneca Flow 505 got all the good things them for you. You get me what I'm saying? So, I'm going to start off by telling you this. Tip number one, agree on language ratio. Decide on your ratio for the language exchange, such as 30 minutes in Spanish followed by 30 minutes in English, or any ratio that works for both parties. Because you don't want to be greedy and thinking so that only you want to learn. You know what I'm saying? Help those who help you. Okay? Tip number two conversation topics. Plan ahead some conversation, mi gente. Some topic to discuss during each language session. Now, this could include everyday topics, cultural discussion, or specific vocabulary practice. Vocabulary is really important, especially when you learn something new, you can always do sentences with them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that is the best way to actually use those vocabulary and be able to practice them when you meet up someone. Tip number three, structured sessions. Consider structuring your session with dedicated time for each language, along with activities like reading text, watching videos, or playing language games together. Now, all of these things, they might vital. You get me what I'm saying? For, for you to become fluent, all right? So don't, don't come telling me Nika Flo didn't say so because I'm telling you right now, you hear me? Tip number four, correct each other. Be open to correcting each other mistake in a friendly and supportive manner. This helps both parties to improve their language skill. Now, you know, I know out there in the real life, there might be people that just let you slide, right? But you don't want to continue making the same mistakes over and over because after that, it become a habit. You get me what I'm saying? A real bad habit. You know one that type. You know, so remember guys, just, just be polite about when you're correcting someone and don't make them feel bad about making a mistake. You know, we all make mistakes. I make mistakes personally still, and I'm bilingual. So if I make mistakes, you guys can make mistakes as long as we learn from it. Tip number five, use language tools. Utilize language learning resources like dictionary, grammar guides, or online language courses to supplement your exchange session now dictionary is really important because we know there is a lot of words out there that a lot of us don't know you get me reading is food for your brain so i feel like dictionary come in handy a lot a lot grammar you know grammar is really important as well mi gente. we want to learn to write properly you don't want to be writing no bad spanish out there okay tip number six Regular practice. Consistency is key. So schedule regular language exchange session to keep up the momentum and improve steadily over time. 
Me hente, in this life, everything is consistency, right? We can't go out in life expecting to achieve stuff, anything in this world, without being consistent, right? I have had a lot of people out there that say that they've been practicing Spanish, you know, they are so focused on Spanish, and after that, you know, they just drop it, right? When you drop certain things, man, you know, you end up forgetting. Me, personally, I can talk from my own experience, I was living in Florida, I wasn't around the Spanish that, that much, I wasn't speaking it that much, and believe it or not, as bilingual as I am, I was forgetting my Spanish until I returned back to Puerto Rico, and now I'm here in Houston, I'm around my Latino people, where I get to use my Spanish often. So, you get me? Don't think so that you can't forget the stuff them that you learn, so remain consistent, my people, okay? That's really, really important. It's really, really essential for your learning. So just remember now, by following this format, you can create an effective and enjoyable language exchange experience for you and the one who is participating on the other end. Okay, my people? Now, I hope these tips them end up working for you in the near future. You know what I'm saying? And just keep in mind, consistency in key is key. For every successful person all right i wish you guys the best on your spanish journey and well you guys know you can always reach out to nika floor for some help and guidance and some more tips right you can reach me on my instagram page you can reach me on my tiktok you can reach me on my facebook everything is nika floor 505 so now if you guys like this video please don't forget to hit that like comment and share button all right Nos vemos. Life too fly to be stressing. Stressin'. Don't trouble away and take your blessing. Blessin'. Every day is a new lesson. Blessin'. I'm not perfect, but I am progressing. Always shoot my shot, they step up, then I fade away. Wait. Music like the only how to get me through the day.